Hi, I'm Bridget Mendler, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Bridget Mendler. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for welcoming us to your hotel room. We appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. It's actually my friend's hotel room, so okay. she's the generous one. So we're crashing. <laughs> Thank you, friends. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm like, mine's still messy. <laughs> well, welcome to Toronto. How are you doing today? Good. Good. Yeah, I love being in Toronto. I got in this morning, so I'm a little, like, sleep deprived, but feeling real happy loopy sort of thing yeah. <laughs> it's always fun though yeah 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 totally and it's an occasion to try a lot of different coffee so makes me happy <laughs> <laughs> well it's an exciting time for you because you're soon going to be releasing a new ep called nemesis yeah with all of the work that went into it aside yeah. from excited how are you feeling right now aside from excited i guess maybe curious um this whole thing is it's a real experiment because i'm i'm trying something new i'm sharing something that feels very personal and and sort of a uh, risky to me so i'm like i don't know how people are going to respond maybe they're going to like it maybe they won't so yeah you really wanted to make something sonically different and fearless than your last release so how long did it take you to figure out what you wanted that to be um i think it wasn't so much as like specifying sounds, even though there was a lot of listening to music and, you know, picking out different things that I liked as it was like assembling the right group of people, the producers, and also getting into the mind space of not being afraid. And that was like a real wall to climb over. Um, and it just became really fun once I was in the room with people where we were all like, I think you're dope. I think you're <laughs> dope. You need a great team. So, yeah, we all just really liked each other and liked each other's music taste. And we worked together and became comfortable and got in a flow. And then we got to a point where we were like, I really hope we come up with something that we've never heard of today. And that was the most exciting part to me is just like – starting off each session being like who knows what's gonna come today <laughs> this, this is, is exciting <laughs> yeah. i love how the stuff you shared so far has some real dark electro vibes you mm. can sneak some r&b in there so were you listening to any artists at that time that kind of attributed to those nuances or where did that come from yeah um i think initially for me i wasn't expecting to go as electro a lot of my references were like Nelly Furtado and Red Hot Chili Peppers, and I actually got really inspired by The Animals, um, specifically their retrospective album. Um, the producer, one of them that I was working with, he does more like on the DJ sound, and he's from Detroit, and like so he introduced me to Jay Dilla, which I was like, oh, that's so cool, because <laughs> I love hip hop as well. Um, and then the other producer, Book, is actually from Canada. He's from Toronto. Fun fact. <laughs> um, so they kind of infused it with more of that style, which I wound up really liking. And I think each member of a creative project, they bring their own colors to the palette. And so for me, it was probably more of like the, the R&B singer-songwriter and like they steered the electronic stuff. And I was like, guys, keep going with that. That's good. <laughs> I like where you're taking this. Yeah, yeah. Well, from the EP, you shared a cool video for Atlantis where, from what yeah. I get from it, is you're sneaking into almost like an ex-boyfriend's mm -hmm. place. He's, for some reason, completely knocked out. <laughs> and you and your girlfriends just go wild. So what was it like putting that together? That was really fun. Um, Ali Avital is the director, and she sent over this really cool treatment. We were looking for so long to find a good director. And um, she just really stood out. And I told her, I was like, Ali, I... I love your mind. Let's just do this. <laughs> and so we had to adjust from the original treatment because it was a little expensive. This is an independent project. And so then we wound up coming up with this concept that was just within one house and um, really stuck to the idea of being asleep with the fishes. This guy, um, it's not specified why he's asleep, yeah. but for us that kind of wasn't the point. Um and it was just kind of like pulling on the heartstrings of um, a relationship that's lost its pulse. Um, and it was really fun because I got to recruit my friends to be in it. And the day was just super chill. Adam, the guy, he kept sleeping during the day anyways. We're like, dude. <laughs> that's fitting for your character. <laughs> what's, what's up? This is a long sleep, Mr. Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was really fun. And working with Kato too, like I was so glad he got to be in the video and he just like 
lit up on screen. You're up to some pretty mischievous stuff in the video. Yeah. So would you say your friends have gone through a couple of mischievous things, or was that more so just the acting part of that? No, that was the acting. Um, I'm I'm like a scaredy cat. I'm terrified <laughs> of doing bad things. So uh, yeah, I I've never snuck into somebody's house. I think I can safely say, nope, never done that. Nope. So kind of just re- living out the dark side through <laughs> film. <laughs> Well, I've noticed from uh, flipping the perfect omelet to amazing looking oh, yeah. crepes, you like to cook. Oh my gosh, <laughs> food is on my brain all day. What is? I- <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's that. <laughs> what are some of your favorite things to cook while in the kitchen? Um. Okay. Well, let's see. What have I lately? I've kind of been inspired by this seasonal flavor pumpkin. Um, I was actually in Nashville recently, and I tried a smoothie with pumpkin in it. So I've been incorporating pumpkin into smoothies, which has been fun. Um, Also playing with the, the, like, different squash varieties as a spaghetti variant. Um, So I had, like, a – it was, like, a pumpkin squashy spaghetti thing that I made with a little meatball and goat cheese. It was really good. That sounds amazing. Um, Yeah, so those are kind of the latest – well, I know you from the stuff you cook. It's usually always pretty fresh. Even it looks like you have a garden in your backyard. I do. Have okay, because I saw fresh yeah. beans the other day. I'm like, where did those <laughs> come from? <laughs> that was a miracle. I I was so surprised that those actually worked and tasted good. They were delicious. I mean, also I've just recently tried borscht, which I'd never tried before. I have a Polish aunt, and I was staying in um, in Brooklyn, and there's the uh, Greenpoint. I was staying in Greenpoint briefly. And there is a little Polish sector over there. And so we went to this Polish restaurant and she was freaking out. She was so excited that there were like all of these traditional <laughs> Polish dishes and she could like speak Polish in the restaurant Aww. and like just reliving being back <laughs> at home. And so I love borscht. So that's one of my goals is to make a little beet soup. Outside of the music aspect of your life, you're also very big on acting, of course. Yeah. So if you could have your music featured in any film or show, which would you love to see it in? My music featured in any film. Hmm. I guess I love I love soundtrack moments in movies. Um, I think that's probably what I like best is when there's a soundtrack that really just speaks to you. Yeah, it just hits you in the heart. Like the one that comes to mind is um, what's that movie? Uh, Garden State okay. soundtrack. So perfectly just matched to the movie um and so I think I would love to have some sort of like dramatic ending sequence (laughs) to some sort of like cool but really like heart-wrenching movie that's like uh sentimental and yeah I guess that vibing really well with your music yeah thank you yeah yeah yeah. cool well maybe that's just rolling in the back of my mind then (laughs) I want to do a little quick fire round with okay. you. All right. So the first one is, who is the coolest celebrity or artist you've met? Coolest one I've met? I love Drum. He's a really cool dude. If you could have any artist cover one of your tracks, who would you love to see do that? Ooh. Who would I love to see cover one of my tracks? Um, maybe a little Young Thug revamp <laughs> would be interesting. What's the <laughs> nicest thing a fan has given you? Um, nicest things. I keep repeating exactly what you're saying. <laughs> it's a, it's a time staller. Back. I know it totally is a time staller. It really is. Um, oh, one fan gave me a little portable humidifier to take on the road <laughs> for my voice, which I was like, wow, you really know a, a singer's trials and yeah. tribulations. Um, so yeah, I don't even know where she found that thing. That's but awesome. I thought that was very considerate. Where would you love to perform that you have yet to? I'd love to perform at one of. Like, I've heard there's this really cool venue in Switzerland at the top of a mountain. It's, like, some sort of festival, like, in a snowy mountaintop. Like, I love the idea of just gorgeous vistas to perform at. So, yeah. Awesome. (laughs) Well, just wrap everything up today. Anything you want to leave with all of your fans who will be viewing? Uh, Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited to share the new music with you. Um, Have open ears and please do let me know what you think because I I love just having a conversation around the music. So um, fire away at me. Let's, Let's talk 
and uh, hope you like it. November 18th, Nemesis. I just want to say thank you for chatting today. We really appreciate oh, it. Oh, yeah, bring of it course. In. Thank, thank you. you. Ah, hug. <laughs> and remember, to everybody viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite artists. See you next time. Yeah, music blog. <laughs> <laughs>